Hello everybody and welcome back to another lovely summer morning here on Ballon Craig Estate. We join again um, about a week after the last episode and we saw the uh, young man receive a, a letter from his um, departed uncle uh, telling him a little bit more about why it was he stopped coming here on, on, the, um, on the farm when he was young and the fact that the uncle really just wanted to give him the opportunity to to try his hand at farming one more time and then it was really up to him whether he wanted to do it or not. Well in the past week the young man has been working hard on, on getting more hay in. Um, he cut all the uh, fields down behind the uh, church uh, to get ready for the village fair. Apparently there's quite a lot of preparations going on down there right now. The fair is in uh, not too, too long, a few more days. But the um, young man's also been uh, neglecting his uh, grain a little bit. And um, today he needs to get those sprayed. Um, Helen is away. Um, she has gone because she's doing an art showing um, back in the city, so she's gone back. So the young man has promised to look after the, the sheep as well, although they seem to be doing a pretty good job pretty much of, of doing that themselves as well. So it's fairly easy going. Um, the young man has a little, little bit more money than he had before, and that's mainly because after the cows got their clean bill of health back, um, they, they produce a little bit of milk and, and they can sell some, but there's generally also a few costs. Obviously this round baler that they got on borrow from Mike the mechanic down the road has, has been a tremendous help. But today um, the baler is going to have a bit of a break at least, and um, the young man is instead going to hook up the old sprayer in here. and. Um, get the two grain fields sprayed up. It's a relatively nice and calm job for today, so uh, he, he takes it quite easy and looks a bit, he really does need to think about getting his tractors washed as well soon, but Trevor's away at work, Helen's away, it's, it's a nice quiet day on the farm. There's really only one grass field left to cut uh, on, on the farm's land, and that's this one here. It's got nice thick grass, so if there is a little bit of time uh, towards the end of the day, the young man's thinking he might um, at least get the mower moved down here so that he can um, get that one cut in, in the next couple of days before the village fair. But for now, it's really time to get the Massey started up. Checks the fuel gauge there. There should be enough for, for the work today, but do need to start thinking about um, getting it refilled. They do do have a, a tank here on the farm that's kept all the engines going while the young man's here. It's been one saving grace at least that um, hasn't been facing a humongous amount of extra cost on that account. So that's pretty good. Just need to get the sprayer hooked up here and um, can't quite remember how much um, herbicide he's got left out here, but he put the IBC around the corner here. Oh, I put the baler in since then. It's getting a little bit tight even here with old machinery, but still glad that he didn't need to to use the old one. But um, he's got a little hand pump that he can use um, to start transferring from one tank to the other. This sprayer is not a particularly huge one, so it, it does not take a long time to, to fill it up. And yeah, in comparison, that's a pretty huge thing, but um, yeah, that's okay. So, with that sorted out, it's time to go over and tend to the first of the field, right up here on the hill. Now, this farm doesn't obviously do a huge amount of grain. There really isn't any storage for grain, so it's going to be direct sell when, when the time comes. But since his uncle's letter, the young man had been starting to think about you know, the future, rather than just, um, just the day-to-day -day stuff. And um, 
he is, he is wondering um, at the end of the year really could be quite handy to start doing some um, modernization of the farm it's not that it's a bad farm or anything like that but there are a few things that certainly could be doing better this this grain is getting quite tall and uh, it, it looks to be doing quite well so the young man's feeling quite pleased with this there doesn't seem to be any major problems with the grain so um, hopefully there'll be a little bit more cash injection coming into the farm at that point his uncle's letter did mention that there was also a, a sum of money uh, at the end of the year no matter what he chose whether he chose to stay on the farm or whether he decided that he would he would rather move on that would be an amount of money but uh, the letter didn't tell anything and um, when they gently tried to uh, ask the solicitors when they were sending one of the daily photos demonstrating that the young man wandered the farm um, they were very strictly informed that uh, this was highly confidential between um, the lawyer and the client and that they were not at, at liberty to divulge whether there was any money at all and in fact they wouldn't even discuss the matter that the young man had had the letter perhaps because um, the letter had actually been given directly to Traveller by the uncle. But yeah, the young man is simply enjoying a, a, a nice quiet day here on the farm. Nobody else around, um, tending a bit to various bits and pieces. He is starting to think that maybe he needs to start tidying up. There's quite a lot of old stuff lying around on the farm as well, but yeah. Thoughts wonder sometimes when you work a field like this. Before too long at all, the young man has uh, covered the field. It's not a particularly big field, so although the sprayer isn't particularly huge either, um, it feels like an easy job to do. He's in a good mood. Green's looking really good. He's looking forward to, to trying a new job. There's been a lot of hay work lately, and there's still some to do, but, and he is enjoying it, but at the same time, He's looking forward to trying his hands on, on something different. He does also need to clean up the cows and make sure both the cows and sheep have plenty of water uh, later on today. But um, there's one more field to, to spray. Might as well just fill it up since the bottom field is a little bit bigger. simply on to the next field.
a little bit before lunch when the young man um, finishes the second field. Spraying is a pretty quick and easy job in many ways, but um, so he's folding up the arms here. This takes a look because it's starting to look a bit darker, cloudy over there. So um, he hopes it doesn't start raining right away and washes everything he sprayed on off the plants, but um, it should be okay. And just for good measure, actually close the gate for once. He has had a tendency to just leave them open around the place, but um, yeah. He's noticed a couple of times where gates seem to be open that he couldn't even remember that he'd left open, but he, he's had a lot on his mind, so he hasn't really thought too much about it. Uh, things seem to be going okay. So with the spring out of the way, he's gonna have himself a bit of an early lunch here, and then um, then he's gonna head up and get the mower shifted down. He's gonna put the header and the trailer onto the Deutz tractor as he did before because it worked much better. And then after that, it'll be time to top up the water for the animals, and then he should pretty much be be done with a nice less really day. Although it would have been nice to have had a bit of sun in the afternoon to be able to sit out in the garden, and perhaps and have a cold drink. But anyway, it's time for some lunch. And with a full belly, the young man uh, feels quite pleased with himself. Yeah, getting on with things today. It's been fantastic having the two other uh, guys, both Trevor and, and, and Helen, helping out on the farm, but he's also actually enjoying a bit just being on his own today. It's nice just to kind of do things at your own pace sometimes. He looks around at all these stacks. Ugh. Seriously need to think about getting all this rubbish cleared out as well, he says. Um, I understand that some of it might be worth a bit of money, you know, if we were to sell it, but to be honest, it's mostly just in the way, all of these old pallets and small wooden boards and, oh god, all sorts of building scrap there. That must have been from when, when the uncle um, built the new house uh, a few years back, but yeah, there's, there's lots of stuff here. Some pretty decent timber here. Might actually be able to sell that and I'm not too sure about these old tires. Um, they're looking pretty short so uh, they might just have to go onto the scrapyard but anyway time to head up and um, get the old Deutz here. is right up against the mower so it's going to be necessary to move the, the mower first perhaps that would make things easier actually he decides this thing is uh, interesting to get through these gates as long as you line it up right it's okay the slightest bit of mis misalignment I'm going down the road here it doesn't take much for you nick one of the fence posts or catch a branch from a tree too hard and especially down here at the bottom where the gate is kind of rusted on its hinges and won't swing all the way back it makes it even tighter The young man's done it a few times now. And with a bit of increased confidence and parks the mower up after, thankfully, an eventless trip down the road. Too often he's uh, 
felt that he was right on the border of snagging something with this machine. It's, it's brilliant in the field, but it's awkward to move around. He does like it. So now he's just got a bit of a walk to the... Um, up to get the trailer again. And with the header trailer hooked off and ready in the field, the young man just needs to get the water sorted out for the cattle. Now he's he's got a tank that's parked over, which worked fine when it was just cattle, but now that they are both sheep and cattle, it's um, not quite as, as convenient as it used to be, but it's still doable. It's just a lot of tight corners and it was easier to, to fill up the tank and then just let it run into the trough on a, on a regular occasion, which is what he'll do again, but he will take it over into the yard um, where they have a water pump. I can fill it up, although it's in a rather inconvenient spot and the young man is already thinking about how he might be able to improve access or even establish a water tank somewhere over near the cows so that he can make that job easier. can't understand why you wouldn't simply have running water by the cows instead. But he starts pumping water into the cows trough, obviously at summer. Um, they drink quite a bit more and so does the sheep. So you'll need to swing around there, get them topped up. Oh, oh no, he says, don't run. Oh, thank God. The cows are around here are quite docile and they don't really make a run for it because he realizes he left a good gate open there. But it's okay. Managed to get it through without too much trouble. Now it's just about getting the tank through the set of gates as well, which is always interesting. Quite tight. There's a fence here on the other side as well. So there isn't much room for maneuvering. But he gets the tank out and just climbs over the wheel so he can get over and close to eat. Cattle might be docile but left unattended for too long and it might turn out that they are a little bit more adventurous than you would like. Getting into the sheep is also pretty tight. But there's no gate here. Oh, Trevor, you're back, he shouts. Trevor smiles at the young man. Hey, lad, it's good to see you're getting, getting to grips with the livestock as well, he smiles. And uh, flings the gate open for the young man. I'll wait over by the water tank. I'll try and get the pump warmed up so it won't take us long to fill afterwards. You go ahead and sort out the sheep. With the gate open and Trevor over sorting out the pump, the young man rolls in now. With these rare bread sheep, he's not quite as convinced that they aren't going to run off, so he takes no, no chances with... Um, with Helen's sheep. Wouldn't look good if she comes back from the city and uh, half of her sheep has, has run away in the meantime, so uh, he sticks with uh, keeping the gates nice and closed. They have been drinking some, but um, they're not draining it as quickly as the cows at least, so it shouldn't take too much to, to fill them up here. There we go. That's them sorted young man smiles and now for the fiddly bit apart from opening the gate getting reversed into that little narrow hole where Trevor has been working getting the 
um, water pump started up. Um, it's it's obviously from a um, private well, private well, so that they don't have to pay as much for for water as if it was on on a meter. But on the other hand, it would have been nice if the pipe could have been let out a little bit further because it is very very tight to get in to where that pump is sitting right now you're all right shouts Trevor pack a bit pack a bit and hold young man quickly runs over and shuts the gate With the tank filled up again, it's going to go back over into the cow's field so that next time they can repeat the same process. Relatively easy. A few more tight turns, and that's another task done for the day. Unhooking the trailer, the young man checks his watch and it's like, wow, it's only like one o'clock, and I feel I've done a pretty decent amount of work today already he says although we still do have that field uh, I guess I do need to get back to some hay work he says but to be honest I think we're okay wait until tomorrow As the young man rounds the corner Trevor is standing in the garden and he's uh, waving two cold drinks smiling at the young man You've already done quite a bit. Come and sit down and enjoy a little bit of summer. Look, the clouds have cleared up. Why don't we just actually relax and enjoy for a bit? And that's just what they do. So the young man and Trevor sits for a good portion of the afternoon, just enjoying the sound of the livestock, life in the country, having a couple of cold drinks and um, sharing stories about living on the farm or being on the farm when, when the young man was, was there as a boy, the bits that he remember. And uh, the afternoon kind of drifts by. Trevor heads off. He's uh, got a few things to attend to in his own life. And the young man just sits a little bit longer, taking in the atmosphere and until he gets to that point where he starts feeling a little bit nagging that maybe he ought to be doing some more work. There's, there's a few things actually inside the house that he really ought to get on with. Uh, he's been very busy on the farm and uh, frankly needs to go and tidy up and frankly just clean a bit in the house be embarrassing for example if he was to invite Helen around for dinner and the state that the house is in now. So the young man heads inside and um, starts doing some cleaning. The young man works away in the house. Hoover's on, the music is on, he has his dinner and uh, suddenly starting to get to that dusk hour which doesn't happen till late in the summer around sort of 10 10 30 at night the young man is uh, finally putting away all all the cleaning bits he's had some dinner and he's done the dishes he's cleaned around the house and yeah he's feeling good he's done things on the farm and in the house today and frankly it's pretty much this time to to get a really good night's rest but then suddenly a sharp sound the young man pricks his ears that doesn't sound right he thinks to himself and he uh, quickly puts on his work boots he steps out it sounded like it was coming over from the yard he thinks Mm hmm. No other sounds, but looking around. Why is the light on in the workshop? He walks over quite carefully. 
carefully, suddenly feeling a bit worried. And as he swings around the corner, he's met by a rather fat, sweating looking man. What are you doing here? says the young man. The fat man swivels around and looks at the young man. Oh, well, hello. I'm terribly sorry. I hope I didn't frighten you. Um, my name is Richard Sangster, and I am the local councillor, you see. And, um, yes, well, I, um, I just, um, came to check out. We had a report of some contamination. The young man is feeling very confused. It's a strange looking burglar for sure, but what are you doing here? You can't just come walking onto my farm. And the man smiles. Oh, oh, please, there's no need to get upset. I, I assure you, uh, I meant no harm, but uh, as, uh, when the council receives a report about contamination, we, we have to um, take certain samples, you see, and, um, well, um, when I came up the road, I, I, um, I couldn't see anybody around, so I decided to take a look on my own. Young man is feeling quite angry and defensive. Well, you, you can't. You can't just walk around on this farm. This, this is private property. You, you need to get out. The man holds his hands up in defense. No, no, there's no need to get angry. Don't you worry. I will be on my way shortly, he says, as he steps up towards the young man who kind of involuntarily backs up a bit. Um, I think I have seen any, everything I need to see. Um, and, and there doesn't seem to be anything. Yes, there's, there's no sign of any oil spills or leaks or anything like that. The young man sort of diffuses a little bit. Yes, well, okay, he says, as he walks together with the rotund man towards the uh, road out of the farm. But, but next time, please let us know that you're coming. I, I don't like the idea of having people sneaking around on, on my farm, especially considering we actually did have somebody who came in and contaminated feet. Oh, dear, says the man. That sounds very serious. I, I hope, I hope this isn't um, some kind of... Um, hostilities in our tranquil, peaceful environment around here. As the council, I would be very concerned if we have new arrivals um, starting to cause trouble. The young man feels very taken away. But me? Trouble? No, 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 I, I'm, I'm no trouble. I'm just trying to run if I'm good, says um, Mr. Chalmers, or Mr. Sangster, as his name is. Richard Sangster. Well, I shall just be on my way then, he says, and starts walking down the road. The young man scratches his head. Hmm. He needs to turn the light off over in the garage, he says, and I'm gonna close the gate over here as well, he says, because I don't know. It's just didn't feel quite right, he thinks to himself, and suddenly starts thinking about all the gates that have been left open, and gets a strong desire to start closing them. And that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Um, next episode will come along shortly, and if you do enjoy this roleplay series from Overcore Gaming, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel as well. Thank you very much and see you again soon.